Hi, I'm Brian Russell. Welcome back to class. I want to walk with you through Genesis 45, 4 to 10. Again, just as previously, there'll be a separate video where I break down the verbs. And in this case, I'll be pointing out a few features that we do see as we move through the text. All right, I will read the first verse, and then I'll, after that, I will just begin to translate <clears throat> all the way through there. So beginning with uh, verse 4, uh, Vayomer, Yosef, El, Echav, Geshu, Na, Eli, Vayagashu, Vayomer, Ani, Yosef, Akikem, Asher, Makartam, Oti, Mitzray, Yama. Okay, and here we have uh, Vav consecutive, imperfect plus Vav consecutive from Amar. And he said, and this subject falls verb here, the proper name, Joseph said, El, we have a preposition giving a direction towards who is Joseph speaking to. He's speaking to Achive, his brothers. Notice that pa comets yod with the vav. That's your third masculine singular suffix on a plural noun. So it's to his brothers. Uh, the next word is, and we'll break this down, this is an imperative from a first noon verb. So the, the noon sound essentially drops off in the imperative form. And this is uh, third or uh, second masculine plural. So Joseph is saying, draw near or approach me. And this na is an extra particle gets, that gets thrown in. It's kind of a, a particle of politeness. So it's like, uh, draw, approach now, or please approach me. And then we have the same verb now of the brothers. And they approached. And he said, now Joseph speaking, Ani, I, Yosef, I, am Joseph, your brother. Now notice this is essentially a verbless phrase here. It's, he said, I, Joseph, am your brother, or I am Joseph, your brother. And again, this would be technically that your brother would be an apposition to Joseph. So this would be a, a nominative a subject. This is a predicate nominative, and this would be appositional. Uh, I am Joseph, your brother, relative clonoun, whom... Makar, here we have a perfect a second masculine plural call from Makar, um, wh whom you sold, or whom you sold me, Mitzrayim. Here's Egypt, and notice the kamats hey at the end. This is what's known as a directive hey. So that instructs you, this will often be at the end of, uh, of place names, and it means to. So wh whom you sold to Egypt. Va'ata, but now, so now, um, therefore, or but now, and this is going to be adjustive, so this is now making a, a second person negative command. Uh, this is, uh, as you'll see, this is a nifil, second masculine, plural, imperfect, or adjustive in this case. Don't grieve. And... Let it not be angry. This is a third masculine uh, suffix, uh, 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 a third masculine uh, singular uh, justive in this case. So it translates a little woodenly. Um, um, so don't grieve and let not some, let's be angry. Let it not be angry in your eyes. This is a passive way of saying don't be angry. But notice it is third masculine singular. So let it not be angry in your eyes. <coughs> Key. For you sold me here. Um, so notice we have an interesting use of keys here. Key can mean for, because, when. In this, um, for you sold me here. But Elohim sent me for life. So this is uh, sometimes key can be a really strong inner uh, uh, contrast, and this is what we probably have here. So there's a contrast between their intentions. You sold me here, but God sent me, and this is a preposition lamed, 
um, for life. And so this is just, this is a noun that means for life giving um, before you. All right, verse six. Um, for, another substantiatory phrase, for this, and this is the dual form. Notice the um, patakyod hiric of the word for two. So this means two. For this two, uh, or for this two years, um, this is the dual form of year, I mean, but so it means two years of the famine in the midst of the land and still five years, which, and this is the, the particle of non-existence, there is not or there was not, there is not plowing or harvesting. And so this is, in this case, this vav consecutive is probably um, uh, maybe a little consequential. So you might want to put a so here, or it can just be and. And God sent me, notice the knee, that's your first masculine uh, or, or first common singular suffix. Uh, vav consecutive, third masculine singular from shalak, call. God sent me before you. Um, this is an infinitive construct or, the, or an infinitive to put for you a remnant. Uh, this could be um, translated in this context, maybe preserve, but literally it's, this is from the, the Hebrew word seem or, or sum, put or set, in order to put you a remnant, to establish you as a remnant in the land, you might say. And... Here we have a hifil. Notice the um, the hay there, and then we have chaya. This is from the word for life, and this this ot ending is the sign of an infinitive or infinitive construct of a third hay verb. Again, I'll say something about that when we put when in the next video. But this is not just to 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 live, but to cause you to live. many survivors, for many survivors. This is great and survivors. Va'ata, again, we have this other emphatic. Um, so now, and now, negation, emphatic use of the second masculine plural part, uh, pronoun. So now, don't, it, so now you, Shalak, we keep seeing Shalak sent. This is second masculine plural perfect. So now you did not send me. And ah, here. Key, this is probably another strong advers ad adversative, but ha Elohim, but God. And he, this is seem, we, we just saw this verb here up in verse 7, so we're going to have a lot of the same vocabulary, and he put me, or set me, to be father for Pharaoh. So he established me as father to Pharaoh, and Lord, le Adon, for all Beto, his house, and Moel, notice the form there. This is a participle, a, a call masculine participle a form. Uh, notice the holum and then the, the sere, ruling in all the land of Egypt. Now, Jake, now Joseph is going to make some um, imperative commands. He's kind of laid things out. So, so he tells his brothers, this is a imperative, second masculine plural, hasten, pel, hasten, go quickly, and another imperative from Allah in this case, go up, el, avi, to my father. And now this is going to be a perfect with vav consecutive so this kind of continues this command here in this case. And you will say to him, or and say to him, you notice anytime you have a vav, either on a perfect or an imperfect, it's going to be a, a, either an imperfect with vav consecutive, or in this case, a, a perfect with vav consecutive. 
um, we'll say more about um, um, these in the next video. And I'm going to start making some uh, references back to Arnold Choi. You, you want to get your Arnold Choi book out and begin to study some of these forms. Um, and say to him, thus says, or thus said, ben Eka, your son Joseph. Elohim, and here we have a perfect third masculine singular call from Seem. God set me, La Adon, to be Lord to all Egypt. You now, this is a, a imperative. So, Joseph, you now notice that Joseph's actually giving commands now to his father come down or go down to me. Don't stand. In other words, don't stand. Don't just stand still. Come on down to me. And now we're going to now we're going to now we're going to get another. This is another perfect with a vav consecutive. And you will dwell. Yashav. Call second masculine singular perfect vav consecutive. Be aretz in land of Goshen. Notice this is a construct, but we have a preposition in the front. In the land of Goshen. And another perfect with Vav consecutive, you will be near me. You and your sons and the sons of your sons, it's your grandkids, and your flocks and your herds and all which is for you, and all that belongs for you. All right, so there is Genesis chapter 45, verses 4 to 10. Again, you can slow this video down, go back through it, practice your work, just notice the flow. We saw some new things in this passage. I'll point those out when I break down some of the verbs. Uh, but again, again, slowly work through the through the text, practice your vocabulary, and, you're, and you can begin to see how the, most texts tend to be fairly repetitive once you get the basic vocabulary down. I'm Brian Russell. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you next time.